Hi guys, so I've got the Xpeng G6 in on test. This is a brand new car. Prices start at uh, just under £40,000 for these. I'll give you a bit more detail on the car in a minute. This is not a review. I wanted to just show you uh, some of the features it's got. So for example, there's an app and you can control a lot of the features on the car with the app. So let's go through that. Let's look at the infotainment. Now, when I do, when I'm out on launches, I don't have a lot of time with the car and it's more about just the practicality and the driving. When you have the car for a few days and you can explore it a little bit more. So I want to just give you a little bit of an insight into sort of the tech levels that these new cars coming out from China actually have. A brown car guy. So you may have used apps if you have, especially if you've got an electric car, you may have used apps on your phone. I haven't actually used them before, so I was urged by the, uh, uh, the kind PR people at Xpeng to download and try the app. So here is the app and there are some of the features. So I have managed to pair it, I've paired it with the car and all the rest of it and they had to authorize me but other, after that i had to just do a few settings and stuff stuff to just make sure that it works um so for example here you go let's look at this this is the so you can now lock and unlock it that's with your phone and also you can set it up so that it recognizes your phone so that when you approach the car it'll unlock it and when you leave the car it will lock it and then you can open the windows the windows open just slightly so if you can see let me come around this side and i'll show you so I guess the idea is that, you know, if, you, if it's a really hot day and you just want to let some air into the car uh, and then if I don't, I can just press it again and you can see that it's gone up. And the uh, other feature includes um, the boot. So for example, I can press the boot button, confirm the area around the boot is clear. Yes, it is. And the boot is open. There you go. So you can unlock the boot. So as you, so if you're coming with your shopping or you're on your way or somebody's coming with the shopping, then you can just unlock the boot before you get there. What else have we got on here? Um, so power on, T park, horn, horn. Gives you a three beep. So say you're in a big car park and you can't find your car, then you can just tell it to horn and then you can sort of locate it from the sound. You've got flash, so it will flash the lights so maybe in the at night time if you lost the car you can get it to flash you've got sentinel mode which is basically um, when abnormal vibrations are detected after you lock the door the vehicle camera records a video of the event and sends an app no notification when you return to the vehicle you can view the video of the event so if anybody's trying to break into your car then it will do that um, and then there's sort of preheating, max cool, so before you get in the car you can set it up. Now there's also intelligent parking assist on this car. And uh, this one, the remote parking, preparing the vehicle. Um, last time I did it, it says remote parking is unavailable at the moment. Maybe because it's already parked, perhaps, but I can show you this one. Now these systems are very scary to me. Um, and especially I'm in a, in a car park with other cars around it. But this one will allow you, so for example, if I parked here, and it was too close um, to get in, the door was too tight, and I was like, oh, I need to move it out a little bit. You remember that movie, uh, Pierce Brosnan, James Bond movie, when he's got, uh, he's uh, driving the 7 Series uh, through his phone? Well, um, yeah. Yes, that is moving on its own. That really is moving on its own. I am not doing that. And um, actually, I don't want to leave it like that, so let's go back. It's making a noise as well. Don't know if you can hear that. Let me just see if you can hear the noise. So you press and hold, and there it goes. Check out the number plate they've got on this press car. <laughs> X-Peng, close enough. <laughs> Let's get inside. 
Okay, before I carry on, make sure that you have hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe. By the way, help out my channel by supporting me on Patreon and Ko-fi or by taking out a subscription right here on YouTube. Or better still, buy my books. I've got three of them out now. There's two of them. Those are fiction. One is a novel. It's the novel that every petrol head should read. It's called The Euless Files. It's about the war on motorists. And the other one is a collection of my short stories from over two decades. Everything from science fiction to cars to the, to the state of uh, humanity. And then this is my latest book. This is basically me, me putting my 35 years of experience and knowledge doing what I do into a book to help other people get into this game. So if you've ever thought about being a content creator, a journalist, or an influencer to do with cars, you need to get this book. It's out now on Amazon. So this is one of those cars that, because um, I've already connected my phone. This is one of those cars that doesn't have, or at least not that I know of, although it does on here. It, has, it doesn't have a starter button. In fact, it has very few buttons. And one of the things that had me flummoxed, and had the delivery driver flummoxed as well, is that there's no adjustment button for the mirrors. I'll get into that in a minute. But you do have a power button here on the phone. Press the brake and shift gears within two minutes. So press the brake, confirm. And, uh, well, it looks like it's already ready to go because it says standard and it's ready. So anyway, um, I'll cancel that for now. So that is, so that's the phone app. That's the phone app. And there's also, there are other settings. So you can go into X combo and there's all these reminder for charging, vehicle preparation, um, passenger seat mindfulness. What does that mean? Child lock for driving, charging and relaxing, movie mode, exit and wash mode, wash mode. Wowzers, okay. So what have we got here? Now this thing has got apparently a huge stereo system, 18 speakers somewhere. I haven't actually tried that out yet. But as you can see, it's very minimal. There's nothing here. These are charging pads. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is put the temperature down because it's a bit warm in here. So there's your climate control. Now, I haven't seen, that's gone into map now. Now I haven't seen, I wonder if there is a climate thing. Because I haven't seen, um, Air conditioning, if it's got heated seats and stuff, it does. Seats and steering wheel. Ah, so seats, you can have heated seats, cool seats, and you can have heated steering wheel. So it's got all of that. So that's how you get to all of that. Um, so let's turn that down a little bit whilst we're here. There you go. And then let's go back to this. Oops, sorry. So this is, and 360 camera. Now the 360 gives you the full 360 of the car, but it also gives you each corner. You know, so you can see where the wheels are um, and stuff. Although, to be fair, do you like that? That's, oh, that's interesting. Wowzers. Or you can do that. So, there's cameras all around it. And um, so go back into there, because let's have a look at that. And let's go into settings. And so you've got tire pressure. About 2.5, about 20, 20 miles, about 100 miles. It's giving you... Uh, the energy consumption since start, well since start, now I haven't moved. So it's giving you the energy consumption. Total mileage of the car, uh, driven after it was last charged. The trip here. Wiper maintenance mode. Rescue mode. Oh, so you, towing rescue, interesting. Window, charging port, trunk closed, trunk boot. Window adjustment. Flashing lights, lights, flash horns, unlocking feedback. Okay, so this is what you can basically set up. Baby in car mode. What does that mean? Oh, right. Oh, damn. Well, you shouldn't be leaving your baby in the car anyway. But anyway, okay. Um, close windows automatically. Trunk and folding memory. So how much of the trunk, how much of the tailgate you want opened? Interesting. Um, the lights, uh, they will tell you where they're supposed to be. Uh, headlight control. It's automatic. Intelligent high beam. Yeah, I'll have that on. Let's have that on automatic. Intelligent automatic high beam. A comp so that's uh, follow you home nights, 15 seconds, the reading lights, okay. The seat, driver control adjustment. What does that mean? It can remember the positions. Well, that's fine. And that's fine as it is. The drive. So we've got eco, standard, sport, individual. Power response. Um, if we go into individual. Wowzers, look at the sound. Power response. So let's have sport. Let's have sport for the steering. 
Um, standard for that. And let's have... What is X-Pedal? I don't know what that is, but we'll give that a try. Um, steering wheel shortcut, what does that mean? Oh, to control the buttons. Uh, so that actually controls the camera, which is actually quite useful. So I'll leave that on that one. Um, exterior side mirrors. Oh, okay, so this is how you do it. So tilt down the left side and tilt up. Okay, now you can adjust the angle. So the only thing that I, I was able to do, I'll show you that in a minute, actually. We'll come back to that. Auto hold, comfortable braking, hill descent control. Well, that should just be on, shouldn't it? Uh, ESP, parking brake, passenger airbag, that's fine. Real time, driving alert, audio will be played when there's a high risk of collision. Uh, vehicle starting reminder, driver assistance systems, X-Pilot, forward collision warning, obstacle avoidance, lane support, lane departure, warning and correction. I think I just want warning. Emergency lane keep, keeping assist. Warning and correction. Acoustic warning and correction. You know what? I don't need it. Uh, lane support system sensitivity. Blind spot. Door opening warning. Rear collision. Rear cross traffic alert. Driver drowsiness warning. So it's monitoring me as well. Driver status monitor. Intelligent speed limit display, please. Because it just gives you a sound. It beeps otherwise. So get rid of that. Driving. Lane centering. Auto lane parking. Intelligent parking, reversing image hold. Interesting. Okay, so this keeps it on camera, in other words. And then there's a sound effect. Um, there was a sound thing somewhere else, I think. Anyway. Oh, voice assistant. Oh, so we'll come back to that. Sounds, time warp, traditional engine. Let's keep it on that. That sounds kind of cool. Sound effects, playback effects, right, volumes, all of the steering wheel volume adjustment. Okay, yes, that's fine. So that's all of that stuff. So that's quite good. Charging, discharging. Okay, we haven't had to charge it yet. It arrived on 74%. It's now on 66%. Um, what did I drive yesterday? Probably about 30 miles, actually. And um, actually, that and it was actually fairly accurate in the sense that um, so it's 37 miles it's showing. I think I did 30 miles. It was on 264, and now it's on 233 miles. But you know, we'll look into the range, the real world range, a little bit in a, maybe in another video. Let me know if you want me to do that. Intelligent imaging, transparent chassis, so the camera will show you the, the under the car as well. Panoramic roof, so this is all the things it can do. And of course, it also like it tells you, you know, it, there's a constant model that it shows you of what's happening uh, around you as well as you're driving along. So storage space, memory space. Wow, look at that. So that's the, so. And in fact, I think you can do that. And this time, this side actually shows you pretty much what you can see on here. And it kind of is over here, so that the passenger can see it. Restrained, so you can see the speed, the mileage, you know, and and it should in a picture of of the traffic around you. It shows you that as well. Um, mindfulness space. After activating the mindfulness, the seat will automatically adjust to a comfortable position and return to its original position. So maybe when you're charging and you can like meditate, I think that's probably what that is. And you can also got sleep space. What is this? Adjust your seat mode manually to start sleep. Right. Okay. No, thank you. I don't want that. Um, can we, can we not do that? Right. Exit. Yes, exit. Wow. Okay. So you can literally like sleep in your car. Wow. And it turned everything dark and it was like, okay, let's go to sleep. We've got App Store, uh, X Combo. What is X Combo? Well, whatever it is, it takes a while to load. Uh, oh, unstable network. Really? And why has the fan gone out crazy? Put the fan down again. Right, so maybe we'll see what that is later. Then you've got the radio, and then radio, you've got tune in radio, Spotify, local media, or you can, I, I suppose, it's sentry mode, recordings, no recording at the moment. Right, oh, I see. So you can actually have, this is where you can view your recordings. 
You can pair stuff. Okay, you can pair stuff, right? We, we don't want to do that. Um, that's where you can go Apple CarPlay, you've got Spotify on here, you've got Browser on here, Android Auto as well, local media so you can connect that. Should we try that again? See if it does anything. I think it's... I mean, if it's working no, out, not working. Okay, we'll come, we'll have another look at that in a later time. Radio, so you got in the radio, you've got the choice of DAB stations, FM, all the rest of it, over here, and then you've got settings. But that's settings for that. What about settings for sound? Well, that's volume for everything. And do you have... Oh, so I can't see... So if I do that... Right, I'm going to turn that down with the steering volume control because otherwise uh, I get a copyright strike. And I wonder if there is a setting for that. Amazon setting... Well, the setting is just for this, so I can't see a setting. If anybody knows how to do that, setting for, like, bass and stuff like that. That's what I was looking for. But at the moment, I can't get anything on there. Right, so we go into there. The uh, default screen, the home screen is like that. But you can go, hey, Xpeng. Hi there. Can you turn on the radio? OK. And it has. Hey, Xpeng. Hey. Turn off the radio. The application has been closed. So there you go. Hey, Xpeng. Hey, Xpeng. Hi there. I want to adjust the side mirrors. The angle of the rear view mirror can be adjusted by scrolling the left and the right scroll wheels. So this is what you can do. It can do. also be adjusted after reversing and turning down. I'll show you that. You can do that and it will go, the mirror goes down, the mirror goes up. But you can't like turn it from side to side. So anyway, so there you go. <laughs> so there is a quick look at the infotainment. So like I said, normally when I get into these cars, I'm on a press launch or a quick drive. I don't have the time to go into detail. And I don't want to put this into the review because that will make the review very long. So I will be doing a review as well. And let me know if you want me to do a real world test of the range on these EVs. But I thought what I'll do is give you an insight into the things that you can do with the infotainment and with the uh, control. I said I would tell you a little bit more about the car. And uh, let me do a little bit of that actually. So this is mid-size coupe SUV is what they called it. It's on the SEPA SEPA 2 liter uh, 2.0 platform. Uh, and it comes in standard range and long range. Standard range starts at 39,990. This long range starts at 44,990. Standard range gives you 270 miles. And long range, which is this one, gives you 354 miles. Uh, I think they are 255 brake horsepower for the standard range and 286 brake horsepower for the long range. They both have 440 newton meters of torque. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 6.6 .6 seconds on standard, 6.2 seconds on this one, which is the long range. And um, what else can I tell you? 20 minutes to charge from 10 to 80%. Um, 18 speaker 960 watt x opera sound system he heated and ventilated seats as we saw uh, all the connectivity etc etc 0.248 cd aerodynamic drag coefficient wow that is pretty impressive so um so yeah there you go uh and they are all rear wheel drive by the way okay so there you go anyway that's enough for now more to come stay tuned if you have any questions whilst i've got the car then put them in the comments now quickly um and i'll see if i can answer them oh and don't forget to uh like share and subscribe on your way out shout out time guys thank you so much hey if you enjoy my content why not get involved buy me a coffee you can do that at either of these links or if you're watching on youtube buy me a thanks or take out a membership it all helps it really does